New at five crash test dummies over the years. They have helped to make cars safer for everyone. But are they flawed? 12 on your side's Marilyn Moore. It says there are some concerns of gender bias, saying they don't really represent half of the drivers on the roads. Women. They may have blank faces and androgynous features, but most crash test dummies represent a very specific type of driver, the average adult man. There are no crash test dummies that represent the average female in our country. And that's despite the fact that women are nearly half the drivers and are more than half the population. Results from safety crash tests like this one have a direct impact on how cars are designed to make them safer. But if tests prioritize adult men, researchers say that can pose a safety risk to women. A recent study from the University of Virginia reveals a woman wearing a seatbelt is 73 percent more likely to be seriously injured in a head-on crash than a man. This has been a clear problem since at least the 1980s, back when the regulators actually first asked for there to be dummies starting to represent women. What they got was a scaled down version of the male dummy that today is so small that really it represents a young teenager. Automakers disagree that a change would help. The Auto Alliance says it does not believe a female dummy would be useful because the current American female is closer in height and weight to the male dummy currently used for testing. Consumer Reports says it's not enough to simply scale down a male dummy. There are important physiological differences between men and women that makes our bodies react differently during a car crash. The government is working on a new crash test dummy called Thor. It can collect more data, but there are no plans for a female Thor. Marilyn Moritz, KSET 12 News.